Hello there! Are you craving something sweet, creamy and delicious? But you would like to be simple and very easy to do? Well, today we are making tiramisu, an incredible easy and irresistible recipe that my mother taught me. I can guarantee you that will be the perfect dessert for all coffee lovers. Picture that layers of velvety cream, coffee soaked ladyfingers and my secret sprinkle of magic. Stay tuned to the end to find out. So ready to wipe this Italian masterpiece? Let's start with 8 egg yolks, then sprinkle 200 grams of sugar, hmm, sweet times ahead. Mix the composition until the sugar is completely incorporated and we get a smooth and creamy mixture. Look how beautiful flows the golden blend. Now pour it into a small bowl and give it a cozy spot in the fridge. Why? Because a chill vibe helps the perfect consistency. Ready for next step? Well, let's start by mixing 500 milliliters of whipped cream with 500 grams of mascarpone and mix those two at the same time. This consistency is what we are looking for. Move the whipped cream and mascarpone mixture to a larger bowl and gradually pour the egg yolks mixture can also be added into batches. To incorporate all ingredients, mix with circular motions from top to bottom till the cream is fluffy and homogeneous. Oh, and don't forget our coffee syrup for the lady fingers. We need 500 milliliters of coffee syrup. For this syrup we need 3 espresso, Italian ones and cold water to get the 500 milliliters we need. For more intense taste add 2 tablespoons of sugar. To start building the tiramisu, begin by spreading a thin layer of cream on the bottom of a tray. I used a 25 per 40 cm tray with removable walls. And now, for more intense flavor, we will add the secret ingredient, grated dark chocolate. For the layers, we need 400 grams of ladyfingers. Start by gently soak each lady finger in the coffee syrup and put it over the cream until we finish placing the first layer. Divide the remaining cream into parts and add the first part of the cream over the first row of lady fingers. Add the grated dark chocolate like you are giving your dessert a cozy blanket. An important tip, when you start the second layer of lady fingers, lay them the other way around from the last layer, like a zigzagging. To create some magic, pour the remaining delicious cream on top and spread it evenly. Now, ready for the grand finale? Sprinkle some amazing cocoa over the last cream layer. This cocoa layer is the characteristic touch of an original Italian tiramisu. Now, pop the tiramisu in the fridge for minimum 4 hours or better yet overnight. <laughs> Trust me, the anticipation is so worth it. Ding ding ding, time's up. Take your tiramisu out of the fridge and gently remove the tray edges. Now, feast your eyes on your creation. But wait, the experience isn't over. There's nothing like sharing the joy of tiramisu. So, snap a pic of your masterpiece and share it with us on comment section or via social media using the hashtag Sabrissimo Tiramisu. And remember, if you are craving more culinary inspiration, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you wouldn't miss a single delicious episode. Until next time, enjoy a good slice of tiramisu. See you soon!